G'day guys and girls and welcome back to our little channel, Goodies Beer Reviews. Someone said my camera had better audio, I think it was Roy, our local wildlife man, but I'm just sticking with the phone for the time being. Uh, there's no reason why, but anyways, look what I've got today. A very balmy, warm summer's day here on the north coast. It was 31 on the car, I think, or felt about 29, 28. You couldn't have got a better day than today. An absolute cracker, and I hope it was where you are too. Today we have a can which I thought looked pretty cheap, pretty crappy. It's a pretty, not, I, don't know, I don't like the can. I don't like anything about it. I don't like the look of it. I don't like the size of it. It's a little pipsqueak. Anyways, I looked closer and I saw Garage Project. Yes, and I've had a hard on for Garage Project before. So this is with liquid hops. With this little fly, just go away. Liquid Refreshment New Zealand NZ IPA Garage Project, which do some fantastic beers. Beautiful beers. I can't remember the names of them, but look on my channel. Most of them are great. It looked 330 mil can, like, really? Like, it's 330 mils, and it's 5.6% ABV. We turn around the can, it has got a very tiny spiel. I'll read it to you. Liquid refreshment, no shit. 100% Kiwi hopped New Zealand IPA, brewed with brand new liquid hop KIF, K-I-E-F, smooth as, care for a liquid refreshment. And it's got a question mark, which looks like another 7. 5.8%, 1.5. So that's 1.5% uh, standard drinks in a 5 point, yeah, 6 percent can garage project. We're here, here to try something new just like you. It should have boo-boo there. Zero carbon all over the can like it's very friendly. But what's not friendly is the size. So we're carbon friendly, but we'll give you a strong beer, 5.6. It's what an IPA should be. And we put it in a tiny little can because we're carbon friendly. Imagine how friendly it'd be if you put it in a proper can. Like just, just saying. Very. It doesn't want to open. Big bursting crack on the can. This little bubble coming up. He's gone. I got my very clean glass. 355 mil, a uh, 330 mil, sorry. That's just why. Give me one reason why I just don't. I, I expect this to be clear. I did. I expect this to smell and be like an iPad. Now with liquid hops, so the hops they're adding, they've they turned into like a blood liquid. Liquid hops, unless it's some alternative. I'll have to look. I'll have to look into it. But anyways, Tuesday, beautiful day. Beer looks sensational. They always do from Garage Project. One finger or a bit less of white. Very nice, clear hair. Very, very sexy looking beer. That is a nice looking beer. It is a very swirly, swirl, nice looking beer. I can't see any sediment, the knucker dunks. Uh, or anything. So I'll just go and have a quick up to the sky look. Yeah, very clear. Very clear. A hydrated colour. Um, orangey, nearly. Anyways, we will have our sniffy poo. There's dogs going off, there's kids going off. Mate, it's busy. Oh, it smells very pleasant. Mandarin, orange, pineapple. Tropical, very tropical on this little thing, this tiny wee beer. Um, one more swirly swirl, and we'll get this all in. Shout out to All In Brewing, too. I'll talk about them in a tick. I ramble some shit. Look at this. This is, yeah, look, this is already four minutes in. And we usually skip this part. Let's have a, let's have a, a, a taste. Looks beautiful. Does look good. Will I be surprised? Just wait for old mate with the 14 antennas. <coughs> Two bull bars, four snorkels, 
20 inch jack top wheels. This is, um, that thing's getting louder every day. Uh, I, I don't really care, I'm not like some old fart, I just, yeah, whatever. As long as you've got pride in your car, I don't know, it's This is very malty. There is something different about the taste of this beer. <clears throat> Maybe it is the alternative addition of liquid hops. I'm going to have to look into it to learn a bit more about it. And I don't really care that much about it. But yeah, look, it, it's it's a it's a good beer. I think I pay. I got this from Uncle Dan's. I could hardly see it because it was 330 mils. It was like literally, you know. Like this is an average size bottle cap. See that? Now compared to the size of that can, that's how small it is. Ridiculous. Yeah, this beer is okay. You can see it by it. I think I think it come in a four pack is about twenty six bucks. I think. Garage project, yeah, New Zealand brewery, I'm sure they are. Mate, they do great beers. Is it New Zealand chip? Uh, look, what I always saying is, well, maybe Garage Project, it, I'm sure they were in there. Yeah, New Zealand, I couldn't see the address. It just had the product of New Zealand. So look, I won't ramble too much. It's mayhem around here at the moment. Um, it's like I'm doing a review outside a preschool. Um, I'm going to... Um, I'm just, uh, it, it's a nice beer. It tastes fruity. What if you like fruity? It's got a very pleasant mouthfeel and it's a very easy beer to drink and I'm liking it more than I dislike it. I think that's the best way to describe it. I like more than I dislike. I've been collecting my cans and Pepsi Max cans and all the other crap so I can take it to the recycling hopefully tomorrow the lions do it here but shit I've got a fair bit um, I should have thought about this before waiting so long to take them in I've got like months and months worth and my car's not going to fit them and I don't have a tow bar for a trailer and I don't know what to do. I'm going to have to just maybe do a few this week and a few next week. That's probably the go. I'll do that. Geez, that was a massive decision. Thanks, guys and girls, for helping me. The wind has eased here. However, it is very warm. I'm fearful um, of this summer on the north coast here. With the fires we had years ago here, I'm telling you, guys and girls, there were ashes coming down on the roof. You, everything was covered. Like, it was just hectic and some parts were hit worse than others obviously I, d I remember standing outside and I was with my son and I looked up and this is when we knew they were getting out of hand uh, just north of us and I mean out of hand you could see the glow in the sky and if you've been around fire you know but the contrast, and you could hear it, you can hear, and it, it's like if a fire front's coming, you can feel it. But what was so sad is I remember like these beautiful, like half burnt leaves that were landing in my driveway, just over, just over New York. And uh, yeah, and I, it was like the sky or the earth was crying. It was sad, man. It was like the earth was crying and letting it out and... I just, it was just one of those moments I'll never forget. It's a bit trippy. Anyways, if you see this, give it a go. I love you, Zol, and thank you to our new subscribers. I will jot down the names. I do keep saying that. You know, I, I, I jump on these videos when I can. We're all busy, eh? And I, I just, this is my wind-down time with my viewers. And I love yous. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I have a request from the grifter who is known to frequent the parts of Dub Vegas about a Bolter Easy Hazy return. I'm very keen for that. I may drop it tonight. 
I will upload this one now. So what I'm going to say is love each other, take care of each other, be kind to each other. I do love you all. And I will see you at the next one. It may be the Bolter Easy Hazy Return. Take care, everyone, and love each other.